Well, I got about maybe a liter or two of water out of all four spots, not each total. Now I've got some holes. Good thing is, now I've got extra storage. I can store things in inside the pontoons. That's excellent. All right, I need to cover these with something. Extra storage is good because I'm about to drive this pedal boat to town and back and pick up a bunch of stuff. I'm going to go with a friend, so two of us will be pedaling. I don't think it'll be that hard, although this will be the first time my friend has gone on that long of a trip, as far as I know, with human power. Y you should be fine. All right, I have an idea for hole covers. Let me see if I can find something suitable. I found a piece of leftover fiberglass over there, and then I was trying to figure out what shape should, what's the optimal shape to cut out to make these doors. And I was like, I'll just cut a stupid circle and do one and see how it goes. Got my rivet thing. Oh. into there a little bit so hopefully it can kind of lock in That's all I have to do. Just bend it in. Oh, okay. Yeah, just do it like that. Yeah. All right, I think that works pretty good. It's not going to accidentally come out anyway. Cool. Tomorrow morning, I'm taking this boat with a friend, and we're going on a really long trip. Now, one pedal boat side has a long seat for a tall person, which is like the right size for me. The other side is for a short person. Now, my friend's shorter than me, but he's a little too tall for this short side. So, I need to lift the seat up a little, because that back part slants back. So the higher you sit in it, the farther back you can go. So I'm thinking I could take this 2x4 and this machine and make a seat. Hopefully I can find some more of this to... Well, I only found one extra. And one of these.
great. I could sit on this side now. A little bit short, but totally doable. Last bit of prep, steering extension. So I don't have to reach beside myself. I can just put my hand in a more natural position and steer. All right, I think I'm ready to go. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. Tomorrow morning, bright and early, we're getting up before the sun comes up. Oh, I love that. Never say that to your girlfriend though, because the next morning she's gonna wake you up at 4.30 a.m. and get you to do some horrible thing, and she'll say, it's because you like it. Uh, what do you have there? Yesterday morning at about 6.15 a.m., before the sun came up, my friend and I got in the pedal boat and we pedaled to town. We got there at about 10.30. It was like four hours and 15 minutes of pedaling, way slower than the zombie chopper, but we got there. And then we did stuff, picked up blocks, picked up a lot of blocks, and DeShana found some online block deal, whatever. We got a whole bunch of blocks. And, you know, bought some food, got a bit of other stuff. Got back in the boat. We had some unplanned delays in town so we left later than we were hoping we left at uh 4 15 and then we got back here at 8 so after dark um so that was three hours and 45 minutes on the way back so we we cut half an hour off our time on the way back and my son uh who's seven months old he didn't see me at all yesterday because i got back he was already asleep um and then he saw me this morning he dropped what he, whatever he was doing, crawled over and climbed up and he was like attached to me for about an hour and a half. Part of that was nap, but he was like clinging on. So that was like a pretty strong reminder. That, I mean, he's, he's only seven months old, but he is definitely noticing if I'm not there or if I'm there. I just, yeah, it's a good reminder to make sure I don't slack off and being an awesome dad. Um, now the, the kids are all playing with blocks. Um, and on our, on our trip, you know, we had like eight hours of pedaling. We were talking about stuff. I think, I think we're not taking any more gasoline boat trips to town. You know, I'd, I'd get rides with the neighbor sometimes and stuff. But I think, I think we've decided we're just going to go either solar power or human power. We're, we're not taking the easy route anymore. Unless, you know, there's an emergency or whatever but generally speaking we're gonna rely on our own on our own power so the zombie chopper works pretty well but it's not good for two people so I gotta figure something out we're gonna we're gonna take another trip to town probably I don't know within the next month anyway so hmm, yeah, I gotta figure something out I should go visit my friend today and, and see if he can walk I can walk fine, but I'm a little a little bit wobbly. Definitely tired legs. One idea that came up yesterday was to make uh, fish fin propulsion. And uh, the reason that seemed like a kind of a good idea is, well, one, it's supposed to be really efficient. Um, I don't know. See if I, I'll have to play with it and see how good I can get it to work. But the other thing is it's really easy to make the pedals for that because you just need, like, things that are hinged on the bottom and come up and you push on them and then they can have strings that go back and turn the, the fin thing. So if you want to add a set of pedals it's it's really easy to do as opposed to like with a you know a, a pedal thing to a gear to a shaft you know where you need like a chain drive to another set of pedals or you have to sit side by side and make a whole other pedal thing. I don't, it's just really easy to add pedals if you have the something that just you're just pushing and it goes back and forth and I could if I had a fish fin on the back or a fish tail on the back of the zombie chopper I could put another set of pedals up in the front and then we could both pedal so I might have to just test some stuff out I can do that with the rudder so back here I've got the rudder and it's got a really strong connection I could pull the pin out of that make some kind of fish fin with a thing that goes up to some pedals that I can do. And I wouldn't want to use it long term without roller bearings, but you know, I could do it for 
long enough to, to get an idea of how well it'll work. Hypothetically, this is very hypothetical at the moment, if that fish fin thing, if I got it working well, I could take the motor and the batteries and the solar panels off, and that would reduce the weight significantly enough that two people could ride in it and take a bunch of cargo without overloading the boat. And we did just make the trip to town in this boat, which is definitely not made for, uh, you know, optimal efficiency. But we got there and back without, without any problems. So if we had a boat that could go, you know, almost twice as fast with the same amount of pedaling, that can be kind of awesome. Like we were talking about how to make a boat to go to town and back. And one of the things that kept coming up was that Solar power boats work great in the middle of the day, but to go to town and back is a long enough trip that you kind of have to go in the morning and then come back in the afternoon, you know, both times when the, the sun is low, and then you end up in town not driving during the, the most optimal sun time. So, like, human power is, is so reliable, you know, it just always works, though. And then the more you do it, obviously, the, the stronger you get. Not that I'm... I mean, solar power is great for doing everything around here. It's just on a really long trip. It's, uh, when it's not a one-way trip, when it's like I'm going to have to do stuff at the destination during the middle part of the day, the best part of the day, you know, the solar power is less useful. Whoa, cool. You know, I don't really know what I'm doing here, but once in a while, something happens that is very encouraging, like this. Oh, bananas. I just got those out of this here banana circle. And hopefully one of these tall ones will shoot out another banana thing soon. I also got a bunch of plantains, mm, I don't know, like a week ago. So those are going very well. I'm also getting pineapples. Dude, it's so plant-bound to me today. What are you doing? 